to you here. Scooter here, man on the inside. Merry Christmas. Man. Hey, Welcome it's Christmas. It's Christmas. To... Look at our festive green stuff. Yeah, right. we got this stuff right here. We are here today setting up for tomorrow's show. Big so show. Big a, show. We're getting a video. This is a powerhouse video, right? Or intro for both? Sure. <laughs> sure. Sure. Okay, intro for both. So welcome to our virtual show. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over there and we're going to show them what we have. Items we number are. one through ooh, lots. Yeah, a lot of them. Thank you guys very much. We had a, <clears throat> a, a wonderful, wonderful year. Thanks for being a part of our team yep. and yep. and supporting yep. us throughout the whole year. So okay. let's go have some fun at today's virtual show. You ready? Okay. Been a good year. Yes, we're about to show you some really good stuff. Right on. Welcome to the show. Now to start things off with a bang, we're going to show you the first 23 knives. They're on a separate table. They're all magnet cut. Magna Cut Steel. Everybody wants the Magna Cut, and we have a very nice mix of models here. Come on down, let me show you, Michael. So right now, these guys are getting real jazzed up. Number one, <clears throat> excuse me, Bush Baby in Magna Cut, Python Scales, orange liners. Number two, another Bush Baby, thinner scales on that one, dyed bone main scales, black micarta bolster. That bone almost looks burnt, doesn't it? Wow. Looks good. Gray liners, gray divider, gray pin on that one also. Number three, Genesis in Magna Cut. Thick red liners. And what'd you say, Michael? Buckeye Bar Burl. Buckeye Burl for scales. Number four, Genesis, candy cane bolster, green micarta main scale, black pins, white liner. Number five, uh, Magna Cut Genesis. Now this one has a swedge in the front. Five and six do for that matter. Python liners. And what'd you say on the scale? Burnt orange canvas. Burnt orange, very nice. Number six, dyed bone, mosaics, black pins. And this, I love that swedge. And the swedge, yeah, five uh, and six. On the Genesis, the swedge. that swedge looks good. Number seven. I can see through that. I, I know. Is that crazy? <laughs> this is some homebrew scale material we made here in the shop. So Mikey's trying different stuff, and uh, I don't know that's intentional, but after it got put together, we were all kind of like, that's That's neat. pretty neat, Oregon. Now, Sammy was holding us up to the light when he was doing the wheel work, and I got a really neat picture of that, yeah, too. Yeah, it's like so. an alien eyes. If you are the yeah. winner, I got a picture for you if you want it. Okay, number 8 through 12. These are all next gens. Number eight is dyed blue bone, white liners, mosaics. Number nine, let's see with some file work. Number nine is black paper bolster, blue liner, blue divider, blue pin, blue main scales. That's pretty nice looking. Come on, that's number nine. Number 10, green and black and more green and black and liners and racing stripes and pins, oh my. In what, LT? Magnica. Magnica. Everybody wants Magnica. Numbers 11 and 12, these are the bone scales, and this one has gray liners, copper hardware. This one has thick natural liners and brass hardware, 11 and 12. Up here, 13 through a few of these, these are Magna Cut large workhorses and a variety of scale finishes on this setup right here. We've got orange liners and mountain finish, We've got mountain finish with no liners, Excuse me, polished with orange, another polished with orange. That looks like matte finish. No liner, polished, no liner, a variety of looks here. Now, another but, thing, this is the workhorse pattern. Correct. This we set up for the guys here in the shop because we wanted to try Magna Cut, so we had to get X number cut so that we had some to make. And exactly. That's where these are coming from. Nice. Okay, number 19. And 20 look like desert ironwood with orange liners, two different thicknesses. Number 21 and 22, is that Buckeye Burrow, Michael? Yep. All right, with red liners. 23 is uh, the honeycomb, a couple different colors. Comes with matching fire steel. Yeah. Okay, up here onto the main table. Now, this is a mix of steels. However, this first table is pretty much custom one-offs. So 24, 5, and 6 is one pattern. You can see we got Python micarta there. This is the brown burlap with some mountain finish. And this is the, uh, that's not burnt orange, right? Red that's linen. red, that's red linen, okay. 
This is quite custom. Scandy grind on number 27. That looks like double red mm -hmm. and gray liners. That's pretty neat looking. Okay, now 28. LT, where you at? Yeah. Is 28 oh, come sorry. with? Does this come with the stand? Anything on the stand come with the stand? Um, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's you Christmas. Stand, you get the stand. Sweet. You can see the nice fall work Nick did on that one. Number, uh, oh, okay. Homebrew scales on that one. Oh, is it? Okay, excellent. You can even see the pins. That's nice. Okay, number 29, another custom in, that looks like some Buckeye okay. Burl. Mosaic pins, finger notches, very cool. Number 30, another custom with something that Nick is doing Fire in the finish. scales. Yeah, fire finish on the scales on that one. Pretty neat scandy. Number 31, similar on the scales, but its own little design. Up here, starting number 32, uh, another small EDC style custom. That looks like, is that short touch? I yeah. think it is, yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, number 33 is one of the cliffs, I believe, or we mm -hmm. were calling it the cliff. The cliff. <laughs> number 34, 35, and 36. These are a few of the minis. So your Frontier First is a little bit bigger than this, just to give you a reference point. Kydex, of course, on number 35. That looks like snakeskin. That is a, that's that prototype scale material. I can't remember what we were calling it. It's the three color G10. Okay. Up here to number 37. Now this is a set. Okay, this is a Maverick Colt Maverick Scout. With the bolster, you can see the white divider, white liners, very trick looking. And these sets also, by the way, they are snakeskin. They're not the striped snakeskin. This is stuff that we had stashed away for special projects. And Christmas is that time. Okay, number 38. This is the next gen. And you can see, maybe I can, there you go. This says fire finish on the steel and the handle. Quite unique. Quite unique. Something cool for Christmas. Number 39, also fire finish on the steel. It's a GNS, of course, with the orange black, white liners. Number 40, custom design. That's one of one for sure, with some. Uh, snakeskin liners, thick snakeskin on that one. Number 41, you see that? Fire finish on a cleaver. Are you kidding me? This is also 3V. It's not stamped, but it was verified by two people in the shop. Okay, up here to number 42 through 45. These are Workhorse XLs in a few different handle materials. Some liners, I think that one's, oh, that's thick natural liners on 42. 43 has the white liners, same with 44, and 45 is orange liners. Number 46, Scatty Crafter. Very nice. Good finish. I love the contouring on these. They always come out very nice. 47 through 49. This is its own little design. of. Or no, these are jets, aren't they? Those look like jets to me because of the Maybe. point. No. <clears throat> Different variety of scales. Mikey, what's this 49? What is that? <coughs> That's Buckeye Burl. Buckeye Burl with copper hardware. Very nice. 50 and 51. Sea Axe powders. Ooh, fancy. See this false edge at the top. Thick liners, thick liners. That looks like blue black. Yeah. That's nice. 50 on that one. Okay, down here, 52 through 55 are the smaller frontier series these are all of course in kydex A variety of scales let me pop this one out that one is dyed red thin red liners it's number 52 that one is uh dyed bone mm -hmm. thin black liners another red one thin black liners and this is dyed brown bone thick or excuse me thin black liners 56 7 8 nine uh, through 61 what the heck these are the Grinch knives that I was putting together before if you buy the Genesis you get the Grinch you buy the Max you get Max 
You buy the Cindy Lou, you get Cindy Lou. These are Department 56 collectible figurines that come with them. Number 56, the next gen Grinch knife, it comes by itself. And down here to number 60, this was the prototype that I put together for the Grinch series to make sure everything jived nicely. That's why it has the black tail, very custom, and a candy cane on number 61. Okay, up here to number 62 is some homebrew scales. Now this is obviously two color. It's on white liners. Very interesting. Catch the other side here for you. See there's no divider there. Quite unique and slightly translucent. That's a pretty neat little setup there. 63 Bush Crafter in Kydex, of course. This is homebrew scale material, orange liners. X stamp on that one. Number 63. 64 is Bush Crafter. That's just G10. That's uh, gray and black G10 orange liners. 65 and 66 are boat tails. Twist with Desert Ironwood. How about that? Orange liners. Natural with glow and green liners. And glow pins. Oh, glow pins too. That's fancy, fancy. Up here, next line is 67 through uh, 70, it looks like. These are Maverick Colts. Variety of scales. We've got a twist on the green black. Polished on the wood with white liner. Smoked maple. Oh, pardon me. Smoked maple. Uh, natural and white liners on 69. 70 is a Scandi black with mountain finish. 71, Mav Colt. What's that? Is that uh, Buckeye Burl? Buckeye Burl, gray liners. Nice. 72, 73, small northern hunters, mountain finish, and polished. With white liners, I believe. Yep, yep, on that one. Up here, the next line, 74 through, oh, a bunch of these, 95 maybe. These are all custom frontier firsts with a and variety. Amazing steels. Oh, oh, well, yeah, okay. Dig it. What is that brown? Micarta, brown paper? It's Rich Light. Brown oh, Rich, rich light. light. Okay, brown Rich Light on these first four. 78 looks like uh, black paper to me, right, Michael? That might be Rich Light, too. Oh, like okay. Black diamond Rich Light. Okay, I think those two are the same then. Okay. Uh, number 80 has yellow liners. You can see on that one. 81 has thick natural on the liners. 82, that's Rich Light for sure, right? Mm -hmm. That's okay. 83, polished black, orange liners. 84, looks like that black rich light, same as those other couple. Up here next row, starting at 85, that looks like natural, or excuse me, not green. Natural. It's green. Matte finish is what I meant to say. Thin white liners. 86 is black micarta, orange liners. 87 through 90. Got Can you some. flip up that file work? Let's look at closer. Like that. Yeah, yeah. Nice. On the the 87 and 88 have that firework with the stag. These no firework. Thin black liners, thin black liners on those four. Okay, 91 through 95. You can see they have a patina. Brown burlap scales, orange liners, and these knives have a W steel stamp code, which is what Mike? 1075. Oh, 1075. Nice. Nice for the field, nice to sharpen on your belt. Good stuff. Up here on the next row, number 96 through, it looks like 101. Some Genesis and a variety of cool handles. There's a twist here at the top. Some blue jean. Blue jean twist, ooh, nice. And the copper rivets to match your jeans. Dig it. That's a lot of forethought right there, Michael. 97 is a prototype scale material that we were making on the shop bot with some Python slots. 98 has a bolster uh, and green main scales with OD green liners. 99 has blue liners and what's the way they get scales? G10. Oh, okay, black G10, but you can see large brass pins, very large, or those Corbys. No, those are the large brass pins. Okay, large brass from. pins. This used to be the large brass pin. This is the really large brass pin. Number 100, thumb scallops, of course, because the Genesis red liners, very nice. 
Number 101, matte finish, green mountain, black pins, glow liners. Nice. 102 through 104, these frontier first, stag and, uh, oh, that looks like elk actually, and thin black liners, very nice. Okay, up here in the next row, starting with 105, Genesis and Scandi, mountain finish, natural, black liners. 106, Genesis, false edge, Scandi. What, like a scout handle. Okay, a little, little bit different. Uh, three color G10. No liners. Number 107 and 108. Again, the false edge Genesis style with uh, alloy pins, it looks like. Number 109 through 112. These four next gen, kind of nice, custom. Desert Iron Wood, snakeskin liners. Matte finish on that one. What is this stuff? Smoked maple. Smoked maple. Yeah, that turned out really cool. And L it smells good. LT, who wouldn't want a smoked maple knife for I'm Christmas? You. Are you kidding? It smells like bacon. You like putting it together too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. like, Wait. Yeah, it was neat. Yes. Yeah, it was neat. It smells divine. And the blue maple, I mean, geez. That's nice. That's 112 on the blue. Right on. Okay, up here to the next row. Number 113 is a Gen, or excuse me, a JX2. In Scandi, three color G10. Two. Coyote and black. Oh, coyote and black, sorry. Uh, 114, 115. Camp Mox. Is that also smoke? No, that's Bacote. Oh, oh. What, what is that? Like the tail on that other one. Man, is that. This. Yeah. That came out a little unique. That is crazy. Coyote liners. Yeah, I like that. Uh, 116. A little mock. Little mock. With a custom lanyard and. Worry stone lanyard, let's call there that. You go. That's right kind of cool. Okay, number 117 and 118. These are luminous fives designed by our man Spen. You see a custom firework. Oh my gosh. Do, hold that spine up because mm -hmm. look at that. Huh? Nick is killing it. That oh, yeah. It's gorgeous. He a man. Gorgeous, man. You want a custom luminous right there, guys. What is this, Michael? It's the rich, rich light. Brown. brown and black rich light. Dig it. Black, brown. Very yeah, nice. Clean. Okay, up to the next row. This is 119 through 123. These are GN... Oh, there's a... No, that's a GNS also. Okay. All GNS. Black, yeah. black paper with blue liner. Natural with white liner and mosaics. Got natural with fish eyes. Now that's a jet. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's a jet. A, okay, yeah, all right. A little bit of a mod, but yep. it's cool. It's, it's convex. It's actually a jet with a GNS handle. Yeah, on it. that's a convex, by the way. Just in okay. Case someone, you I know, see every, it. Every now and then we get those guys got and some more smoked maple. Smoked maple with orange liners and pins. Oh, that, that is. That's a looker. Man, that orange kind of brings out the orange tones in the mm -hmm. in the wood. Yes, yeah. yes, it does. Now we're into proper jets. Okay, one twenty four through one twenty nine. These are in fact jet models. In a variety of scale materials. Something unique here, here, and here with liners. A little get, foul work on a couple a good, of them. Getting a good look on that, Michael. Python, the three color rich light, right? Yes. Yep. Double red with natural, or uh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, with natural. Yeah, natural. This has the green liners to go with the honeycomb. That was an interesting color combo. Yeah, that came out. That, nice. Oh, and white pins. Line. Yeah, that's. Um, that just that's a really good little mix yep this is blue mix of blue and carbon blue liners blue pins mm. I like that myself and this is white and red liners white pins or glow pins you remember Michael those are glow okay glow pins flip that up because there's three different liners on there oh yeah, yeah oh see I didn't even see it red white red yeah that's very cool Gotcha. You okay. know, off those three knives, I kind of get this ocean vibe for some reason. Do you know? Yeah. Do you want to listen to Yacht Rock on your radio? No, I was thinking like I Dick do. Dale, surfing, surfing. Oh, like Dick Dale. Well, yeah, that's rock? good stuff, too. Is there such a thing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, starting up here at the top, 130 through 135. These are custom Patriots. We have some black micarta, blue liners. Hey, it comes with a sheath. Black, that just looks like thinner scales on that one. Black micarta gray liners. Orange with black. Oops, green with black. Blue with black. And 
more of that cool blue with blue pins and blue liners. That's a nice little mix there. Okay, let's start up here with number 136. This is a camp kitchen that has been ground. I don't know if we can show it really well. This it's is a tapered ground. It's taper ground, top to bottom. Uh, I don't know if you really can pick that up. Kitchen. It's bigger it than is, that. It's a custom one-off knife. Okay. And I was telling Mikey, if that had the toxic green handles like a Lane's Kitchen, this knife would not be in the show. I'm Ooh. telling you right and now. And all the firework. And, and the, the firework. Fire. Yep. That yep. would be in our kitchen at home. It so is now pretty I have sharp. to make a lime green one. Pretty special. <clears throat> That's 136. Okay, 137 through 139 is the large powder. In Fiesta Wear colors. In Fiesta Wear colors. <laughs> <laughs> Orange, green, and blue. Very nice, very nice. Okay, 140 and 141 is the small powder. And a couple different finishes here. With some file work, too. Uh, yeah, on that one. Yeah, jig my card on file work. Dig yeah. it. Very nice. And white liners on that one. All right, up to the top of this row, number 142, 3, and 4 are Gen 3s. In a, Those are convex Gen 3s, by the way. Oh, fancy. Right? Or is that first one a flat? Looks flat to me. Well, let me look at them. I thought Go they ahead. were convex from my angle. That is a convex. That is convex. That one's flat. Okay, so you got a flat and two convexes in the Gen 3s. Dig it. Good stuff. couple different grinds. Okay, 145 through 148. These are... The elusive pronghorn. Drawn a blank. Oh, yeah, pronghorns, right. Sorry. Space in there a minute. Nice dyed bone on that one with the orange. Dyed bone there with orange again. And here's the newer scan material, the rich light stuff, three color. Polished, one matte. Little, little, little file work action there, too. Very nice. 149 is a machete, of course. Matte finish. And mountain on the orange handle. There you have it. We've been working with uh, Paul Rogowski and Les Stroud on some wild harvest stuff. Well, we have for you some of Chef Paul's signature kitchen knives. Let me just tell you, when, when we got done with these, uh, Sammy and I did a lot of the surface grinding, and this is the grind through, so they're, they're tapered front to back. We both were kind of like, these things are amazing and I've been telling Mike all week long it's like Mike this batch ugh, these things are the sweet spot like every now and then you get that Wednesday car or you've heard that my car was built on Wednesday everything's perfect this batch we ran through was we found that sweet spot and we were like oh these things are amazing so let's take a look at what we have we have the turning knife which is a very very small knife has their logo on it and Paul's signature. That is a fantastic piece. These all have what we call the thumb scallops on the um, bushcrafter knives, but on here we're calling them more like a pinch point. Gives you a place to pinch on the front of the blades. The boning knife, another phenomenal piece. Another great, fantastic piece. Now these are chisel ground, so we only grind these on this side. But because of the full taper ground, they're very, very slight, and they are amazing knives. And this is the slicing knife. Mm -hmm. This is the chef knife. This thing is a beast. It is a beast. I think Paul told us he has actually taken this out in a wild and chopped limbs off trees yes. with this thing. This is an amazing, and they feel amazing in the hand. They're fantastic. And then we got with spin, and you want to talk about a knife roll. Oh my, look at that live edge on that. He's got some paracord. He's got leather straps for carrying it. And what a great piece. Built-in strop. Built-in strop. And look at this interior. There they set all your Kydex sleeves for these knives. Is this an amazing set? This in itself, who wouldn't want to have a handmade leather knife roll? Guys, if you have not tried out these kitchen knives, now these are the premier, premium pro chef. Paul has one of top 50 restaurants. Yes. Is that what it is? Rogue Restaurant mm -hmm. in Canada. This guy uses knives. He gets it. He knows how to do it. And 
this has been coming along for a long time. During the pandemic, he contacted us, and Mike and I kind of threw sketches, and he'd send them to Paul and back and forth, and he designed these knives, and we were just super excited. These are fantastic. Check them out. Guys, thank you very much. All right, over here on the extras table, they all make fantastic stocking stuffers. We have some church keys. Remember, this is a fire striker slash bottle opener. Some of the new LTWK hats. Hey! Tough cloth. Uh, this is the Viking whetstone for sharpening. Nice to have on your keychain. A couple strop bats. This is my favorite. A couple small packable straps. The strap strop. Ballastol, of course. And we have a few of these very cool Yeti tumblers lasered with LT right now. It's your favorite company. Some antler stands. You have to have the starter kit here for your terrarium. So 25 bucks will get you some nice stands. And well, that's this. these are some cool pieces for just laying in the terrarium. How about that? Fire steels. A variety of some different fire steels there. Hopefully it could match up something, or it's also nice to get a completely random looking one. Yeah. What is this? What is this, Michael? It's hardware. What the heck? Something Mike and Tyler were making. Geniuses. Or mad scientists. Brian from Woods Monkey here at the LT Ride Virtual Vault Show for December. Um, we'll take a look and go through what we have for you for the, for the Woods Monkey selection as part of the show. Um, so we'll start over here. We've got... Uh, what we're calling our utility belt. So these are made for us by JRE Industries, um, set up for a uh, gun magazine, multi-tool, and there's a Kydex piece that goes on here that will size for your particular flashlight, your, your everyday carry flashlight. So we've got two of those. Those will go quick. When you call in, just let us know how big your flashlight is, the diameter, and we'll make, uh, we'll make the Kydex to go with that. LT is modeling his. Very nice, very nice. So next up, we've got some selections from our friends at uh, PNW Bushcraft. First is their Kestrel roll. It's got 14 pockets, wax canvas. Um, their maple roll is made for more pocket knives. Um, we've got their cedar bucket bag in the back there. There's this is our version of it. It's a little bit taller than the than the the normal bag, um, just to give it a little bit of extra space. Um, W6 is the everyday carry tray, as you can see. It's a tray in your pocket, or it snaps together for, uh, or it's a it's a holder in your pocket, snaps together to be a tray on a nightstand. You know, wherever you get to where you're going. Great for traveling. Absolutely. W7 is a selection of pocket slips. Uh, we've got one here to show you what it looks like with the knife in it. So uh, perfect for your banana peel folder. This I one happens really to be like blue that. and and uh, and wool, but we have a selection of those. And then we've got the knives. So W8 through W21 are a selection of banana peels with our brand new Kydex neck sheath holder. Um, we'll grab number number 21 there. So this is how you'd have it set up. I think is wearing his too. I am, and I uh, I like this knife quite a bit. If you yet do not have one of these, they are great. I particularly like the Kydex Warney blade. This is this is the win for me. Carried in this neck rig. I used to carry a tiger nap like this a lot, and yeah. I fell into loving this knife. Just super flat and light. You don't even know it's there, um, and it's great because it's always there. These are the friction folders. If you don't own one or you haven't for a while, now's the time, man. Woods Monkey, yep. we are bringing back a friction folder that is great to work with. I have, I'm just in love with mine. Okay, and then W22 and 23 are cord locks, and we'll explain to these on the live video, but it's basically a, a cord system to be able to hang up um, your ridge line with with a 
with a tarp when you're right. when you're hammock camping or if you want to do some tie outs but it's a way to do it quick without having to do a knot uh, exactly one of the reasons that we designed this was because of cold hands wet hands when i was out hammock camping I used to use a trucker hitch a lot well my hands are wet and cold sometimes that's a little bit of a a pain to do but with this we're going to show you how to use these super fast super simple and they work great yep and as you can see we've got some some different different colors and different patterns and whatnot these will come just as you see them when we've got some other ones as well um, w24 through w34 is a selection of again banana peels these are without kydex um, but if you happen to do buy one of these we can add kydex to that for you so we've got some different size handles. Yep. So we've got some materials. orange uh, there. You've got, uh, as you can see, G10 and, and uh, some thicker micarta, some thicker G10, which is really hand filling. Uh, some really, really interesting textures that Nick puts on there. Really gives you a good grip on there. But again, because these are modular, you can swap it out too. So you could get uh, a knife now and get an extra handle. We've got them on the website. You can swap it out. You could have a couple of different sets, um, whatever you need. So these are these are brand new for us. So W35 through W43. Um, again, these just went up on our website. I think this week. Uh, these are made for us by Bonds Creek down in in West Virginia. This is a collaboration between us and, and Bonds. Bonds is a one person shop. Dave Pratt is making these knives. He's been making knives for what eight years, seven eight years. Yeah. Yeah. Um, these are all AEBL. It's his fin and feather model, uh, which is a little bird and trout that knife. Pattern. What a great pattern with hexi hands. With as Mike pointed out, the hexi handle. So um, this is a, a handle design that LT came up with. Um, it's a hex, hexagonal shape. We're calling it hexi. Um, just feels really good in the hand, however you're holding it. Just locks it right in there. Dave puts nice little uh, jimping on the top. Gives you a little bit of purchase, but it's not too sharp. And then, of course, there's a little harpoon tip when you're, when you're getting into your animal and, and cleaning them out so you know where, you, where your knife tip is. W44 and 45 are the, the monkey fangs. We're calling them the monkey fangs, the fangs. Um, these are pieces of uh, desert ironwood and micarta. Uh, some of them have lanyard holes, some of them don't. Uh, just a little something to have in your pocket. A um, little almost like a cubaton tool, uh, something along those lines. Yeah, I like those. Very nice. Again, a, a new product for us here. So W46 and W50, as you can see, these are an assortment of pens, but um, not just any pens. These are based on the, the idea of the old World War II theater knives. So if anybody is familiar with those, um, you'll see those in books sometimes where, where guys will take basically anything they had around, you know, pieces of, of the cockpit and, and uh, different pieces of plastic and metal and whatever, and they would take like a knife blank and make a handle out of that. And you'd see like different strata of colors and textures and shapes so that was kind of the idea that we came up with for these um, these are pieces of micarta and g10 and um, all kinds of stuff in there um, all kinds of different patterns um, and sam did all these freehand these are not done on a lathe typically when you see a knife or a, a knife typically when you see a, a pen like this it's done by somebody on a lathe and these are all done by hand yeah and they are very very nice just the inner interesting different colors and stuff so we wanted to put something together like a jung jungle ink thing with yep. a theater knife. I used to collect the theater knives. I had a, a small collection of them. I thought they were super neat, and I was like, wow, wouldn't that be cool on a pen? And everybody likes handmade custom pens, right? I carry one. My buddy Gary made it for me. I love it. Yep, absolutely. So to go along with those, we've got um, letter openers as well, same idea. Um, different pieces of, of micarta and G10, some with textures. You can see there's a there's a twist pattern on that one. Looks really good, feels great in the hand. This one has kind of got a, it's not quite the hexy pattern we had on the on the Bonds Creek knives, but it's got a little bit of a, like maybe an octagon shape to it. Same idea, we've got some pull apart keychains. We've got five of those again with different different textures and different different pieces to it. That's W48. 49 is a set we did for Christmas. So as you can see, the red and green Christmas colors, uh, pen and, and letter opener. And then W51 is our, our SAR board. So this is a little bit larger version of our monkey board uh, made to go in the Hill People Gear chest rig. Uh, and it's orange, you know, with that SAR color. And it's also when you open up the, the chest rig, it's almost like a little shelf on there. So you can have, 
your light, your radio, your your pen, your 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 notepad, all your stuff right there at hand. Um, W52 through 55, we've got a selection of our monkey boards set up again for first aid kits. Um, so in red in the first aid color, it's also got the first aid logo on there. So you know when you see that in your bag or on your bag, you know that's your first aid kit. Uh, there's no question about that. And then 56 through 59 are the black monkey boards, again, in the, the four sizes, the small, medium, large, and the, and the baby size. Um, again, you can use these for whatever you want to do. Put them on your bag, put them in your bag. They come with the shock cord already on there. It's, it's left up to your imagination how you want to use them. Yeah, if you, if you don't know what you want to use these for, when you get them, you find uses. Mm -hmm. The small one, I have a rechargeable flashlight, an O-light on it with the recharger, and I can just throw this in my bag. And as most of you know from last year, I set up my ham radio stuff a lot around these, and we'll have those in the live show to show you just exactly how I put all my stuff for that one radio on that monkey board, and then I can just grab that board and put it in whatever pack I need at the time, and out the door we go.